Hey guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be my April wrap up. So I read a total of 17 books in the month of April. It was a great reading month for me in terms of quantity and quality. I had quite a number of five stars. So let's get right on into it. Actually, before we do, I did vlog throughout the month of April. So a lot of these books you will have already heard me talk about. So I'm not going to talk about them again. I'm just going to hold them up I'll give you the star rating and then I will refer you to the videos in which I talked more about them so that you can, if you want to get my full thoughts, you can check out those videos, but I don't want to talk about them again after I've already talked about them. So let's go ahead and get started with the first book that I read in April, which was Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. Of course, this was a reread for me. Mistborn is one of my favorite series of all time. And I was still kind of going through a slump at the end of March. So I decided to reread one of my favorites and it definitely worked, helped me get out of my slump. Um, if you don't know, which I'm sure you do by now, but <laughs> Miss Porn uh, takes place in this world where a thousand years ago, the bad guy won. He has been ruling for the past thousand years. He is basically a god, he cannot be killed. Um, he's known as the Lord Ruler and any uprising or rebellion, he quickly, cuts off so the people really have no hope but a man named Kelsier recruits the underworld's elite uh, thieves and decides to bring them all together to overthrow the final empire and the lord ruler. It is such an amazing series. I absolutely love Brandon Sanderson's writing. You guys know this. I love the magic in here. One of the most unique magic systems ever. Absolutely love this book and really glad that I got a chance to reread it. I'm really excited to continue on and reread the rest of the series, which I will hopefully be doing soon. The next seven books that I read, I actually did in my first vlog of April, which I will link in the cards if you want to hear more of my thoughts on these, but I read seven books in seven days and I will go through them and give you my star rating. So we have Ring Shout by PJ Lay Clark, which I absolutely loved. I gave it a five out of five stars. City of Villains by Estelle Lore, which is the first book in a new Disney villain series. I gave it three out of five stars. I read This Is How You Lose the Time War by Amal El Motar and Max Gladstone. I gave this a five out of five stars. I read Over the Woodward Wall by A. Deborah Baker, AKA Sean McGuire, which I gave a five out of five stars. I read Beacon 23 by Hugh Howey, which is a sci-fi novella that I gave five out of five stars absolutely loved it the end and other beginnings stories from the future by veronica roth this is a sci-fi short story collection from the author who brought us the divergent trilogy i gave this a four out of five stars and then lastly i read the how the king of elfheim learned to hate stories by holly black and i gave it a three out of five stars once again if you want my full thoughts on any of those books do check out that first vlog that i did for the month of april the next week of april was my unhaul project um, and in that vlog i did read jacoby by william ritter and i did give you most of my thoughts there this is a detective a supernatural detective series that takes place in the 1800s in New England and I really enjoyed this one. I gave it a four out of five stars. Also in that vlog I read Timekeeper by Tara Sim. It was one that I was planning to one haul. I was planning to one haul both of those but luckily I really like uh, Jacoby. This one not so much. I did read the entire thing but it was a three star. Didn't really have many strong feelings about it so I could have gotten rid of it and not read it. But anyway I read it, gave it three stars. Again if you want to hear my full thoughts check out the Unhaul Project vlog, which was the second vlog that I did in the month of April. I did read another book that week that I didn't tell you about, and that is Persepolis Rising by James S.A. Corey. This is the seventh book in the Expanse series, and I've really been enjoying this series. Um, I can't really say too much about this because it is the seventh book, but I will say that this book really threw me for a loop. This takes place 30 years after the events of the previous book, and I could not get over that fact. I couldn't get over the fact that so much time had passed. I couldn't get over the fact that the crew of the Rossi were now so much older. <laughs> and while I loved the events of the books and the things that took place and the way it ended really has me wanting to find out what happens next, I still don't feel as great <laughs> about this particular installment as I do about the rest of the books in the series simply because of the time jump. I was not expecting that. I don't like when that happens. I understand why the time jump happened. I'm just, I wasn't happy with it. I still gave this a four out of five stars. I definitely enjoyed my time with it and I definitely recommend the series as a whole. 
Not my favorite book in the series though, but I am interested to see where it goes from here and how I will like the uh, further installments. There's only one more book that's out until the final book comes out later this year, so I do want to get to that at some point. But yeah, this was this was an interesting installment, but I gave it a four out of five stars. And then we had Grisha Week, which was really fun, although I didn't get to read all of the books that I was planning to read. I did reread King of Scars by Leigh Bardugo and gave it a five stars once again, because <laughs> I gave it five stars the first time I read it. Really loved this book um, and was really excited to continue on, which I did. I read Rule of Wolves in that vlog as well, and I gave it a five stars. If you want to see my pain, <laughs> Lee Bardugo broke my heart and just hurt me so much with this book. Check out that Grisha Week vlog. Five out of five stars for both of these. But another book I finished during that week that I didn't tell you about was Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I finally tackled this beast of a book. Um, I have been intimidated by this book for so long and I, met, I said not because of its size, but because of the way people feel about this. This is on every list of best fantasy. Um, it's so many people's absolute favorite book and I was so worried that I wasn't gonna enjoy it. But I did enjoy it, I really did. It took me a good like 200 or so pages to get into the story, but after that I really did enjoy my time. We are following um, Kvoth, who is a innkeeper, and many a story has been told about him and his adventures and what he got up to, and everyone wants to know the real story. And so a chronicler comes to town, finds him where he's hiding in his inn and convinces him to tell him his story. So this is his story from the time when he's a child and all the tragic things that happened to him and him going to this academy where he learns magic and other things and just the story of his life. So he tells the chronicler that he's going to tell his story in three days. This book one is day one of him telling his story and I really liked it. I liked the world, I liked the magic, I liked Kvothe, although it took me a while to like him as a character to be honest, he's just a little shit, like it was so hard to like him just because of his personality and it took me a while but eventually he grew on me and I liked him, I liked the situations that he found himself in, I really felt for him and the, the tragedy that he experienced as a very young boy and the way people treated him and all the things that he went through. And I liked the magic in here, although we don't get a lot of it, or, or we do to a certain extent, but I'm very interested in seeing more of that magic, of that particular magic, if you know, you know, and the particular uh, beings that we were, that were very elusive in this first book. So I'm excited to continue on in the series and read the second book. Will the third book ever come out? No one knows, but I really enjoyed my time with this. I was surprised by, because when I first started it, like I said, I didn't like Quoth. I didn't <laughs> know if I was going to enjoy this at all, but after like around 250 pages, I really got into the story and really appreciated it. So I'm really glad that I did like it. I gave it a four out of five stars. And I will say that this is the uh, 10th anniversary collector's edition. It is so beautiful. There are these beautiful illustrations throughout and just all of them are stunning absolutely stunning. So that was a really great added benefit to reading this particular edition. So I definitely recommend this edition if you want to read it. Also, I did dip into the audiobook towards the end. The audiobook was fine. Um, the narrator sounded really, really young, but <laughs> that kind of made sense because it is growth as a young boy. And I liked the, the voices that the narrator did for other characters. So yes. Definitely enjoyed, gave it a four out of five stars, and I'm really excited to continue on with this series. And then finally, the last vlog that I did in the month of April should hopefully go up before this, so I won't talk about those books too much either. <laughs> but in that vlog, I did finish off Rule of Wolves, so you get my final thoughts on Rule of Wolves in that vlog. Sabriel by Garth Nick. This was a really fun adventure, classic fantasy type story. I gave it a four out of five stars, and if you want to hear my full thoughts, check out that vlog. I also read Wind Witch by Susan Dennard, which is the second book in the Witchland series, and this was a reread for me. I'm reading this for the Witchlands Along that's hosted by Jade from J.D. Ray Reads. I gave this a five out of five stars upon reread. Really enjoyed my time with it. And then I read my most anticipated book of 2021, which was which is Steeped in Gold by Shannon Smart. Um, this 
was great. I am still thinking about this book. I gave it a four stars and you can hear my full thoughts in that vlog. I think about this constantly since I stopped reading it. Um, in fact, I've, I've been having a hard time like moving on to other books I, because I just keep thinking about this so much. I really appreciated this book because it is a Jamaican inspired fantasy, which I have never seen before. And like I said in my vlog, now that I've had a taste of Jamaican inspired fantasy, I want more. I want more. <laughs> so I'm really, really hoping that I can, I can get that at some point. Um, but this was great. I highly recommend. I gave it a four out of five stars and I, I honestly cannot wait to reread this and I'm really excited for the next book in the series. Like when is that coming please? Because I need it. I need to know what happens to Araya and Jasmine next, especially Araya. I really, that character really became, in, really endeared herself to me. She's so strong and powerful. She's really, she has a lot of feelings. She has a lot of feelings, but she puts up these walls so that she doesn't feel things because she doesn't want to love. She doesn't want to let people in because she knows that she will get hurt. I love Araya. I love Jasmine too, although she she did some things. <laughs> she did some things in this book that I, I don't know about, but honestly, this book will always hold a special place in my heart. So yes, I said I wasn't gonna talk about it <laughs> again, but I talked about it again. Definitely pick it up please. And that is it. Um, this was a really quick wrap up for me because I talked about most of these books in my vlogs throughout the month. I hope you enjoyed this wrap up. I know that it was really quick, but I didn't have much to talk about outside of the books that I already talked about. But anyway, uh, talk to me down in the comments. Let me know if you're interested in reading any of these books, if you have read any of these books, what your thoughts are, anything at all. I love hearing from you in the comments. But that's going to be it from me today. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.